Welcome to another episode of the Jam Pack Report today for February the 22nd of 2021. Of course, my name is Sammy Laddams and this is a daily gaming news podcast meant to bring you the hottest news you need to know from around the industry. Hosted on YouTube and podcast services around the world five days a week, it's your one-stop shop for everything you need to know. So if you enjoy the show and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and keep coming back for more. But over the weekend, we saw BlizzCon Online 2021 come to a digital destination near you, and it did bring plenty of news. Not as much as a regular fiscal event that is held during a normal non-pandemic year, but still plenty of news considering the digital nature of the event, and we are hitting the highlights on today's show. I do want to emphasize, these are highlights. I'm not going into a deep dive into any of the announcements. If you're a hardcore Blizzard fan who wants to know the ins and outs of every single thing, I would highly recommend checking out at least the VOD of the keynote and then heading over and reading some of the fantastic articles that the industry has been putting out over the past few days. But if you're just wanting to know exactly what happened, and then you can research some more later if you'd like, then boy do I have the show for you. It's called the Jam Pack Report. You're here already, tuned in, good to go. Buckle up, let's ride. Blizzard's arcade collection was revealed for a same-day release across PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. It includes 1990s classics The Lost Vikings, Rock and Roll Racing, and Blackthorn. WoW Shadowlands is getting its Chains of Domination expansion, a new 10-boss raid, a new dungeon, PvP content, and more will be coming to the game. Then WoW Classic is also getting an update. It brings Burning Crusade, the expansion from 2007, which puts players in the Outlands, adds new dungeons, and adds new loot to acquire. Hearthstone's Year of the Griffin kicks off with Forged in the Barrens expansion. It includes 135 new cards, 10 legendary mercenary characters, and a new keyword known as Frenzy. A new Rogue class was revealed for Diablo 4 with an extensive deep dive into what exactly this entails, and it was added alongside the Barbarian, the Sorceress, and the Druid. The Rogue class will fight monsters and other humans to collect loot and complete quests according to GameSpot, and it blends ranged and melee combat tactics in a new trailer. Overwatch 2 got a technical deep dive, giving players a glimpse at what is to come, which includes better visual and audio tech at the helm, with dynamic audio experiences depending on location. So for instance, if you're going through a tunnel, there will be more of an echo, it will be a more uh, natural sound as compared to what you have now, which feels very two-dimensional when it comes to audio especially. Then a new hero, Sojourn, was revealed. Her abilities were not detailed, but she does sport a railgun as her main weapon. New changes are coming to heroes in the upcoming game, and not only visually. Tanks will be more CQC friendly, and skill trees will allow for deeper hero customization. New enemy variants are on the way as well, including Breachers, Elite Grunts, and the Puller. And PvE is going to be a much larger part of the game, with hundreds of levels and dynamic variants to keep things fresh. That, my friends, is very exciting. But to crown off the biggest announcements from the show, Diablo 2 Resurrected was officially announced. It's being developed by Blizzard and Vicarious Visions, the team behind 2020's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, which was, of course, announced to recently have shifted internally under Activision to work directly with Blizzard, essentially devol- uh, excuse me, dissolving the company. Not devolving the company. Devolver Digital is on the mind. Uh, dissolving the company into Blizzard itself, and so Diablo 2 Resurrected appears to be the fruit of these labors. Important to note, this is a remaster, not a remake. The game will remake the visual style and add quality of life improvements over the original, but the core mechanics still remain. This is coming to PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC later this year with cross-progression enabled, so if you want to pick up the game on the Nintendo Switch and resume it on your PC or your main console, you absolutely can. That's pretty much the biggest news from BlizzCon Line 2021. Uh, Of course, if you want to learn more, you can head over and again read tons of articles. The entire VOD is up now. But for me personally, I'm not a huge Blizzard fan. I think the game from Blizzard lineup that I've spent the most time with is probably Overwatch, uh, and I'm not huge into it anymore. I haven't played it in a number of months now, uh, but I'm excited to check out Diablo 2 Resurrected. You always hear so much about Diablo 2, so it might as well be something uh, that I dive into later this year. Now moving on to the next story of the day, Xbox is reportedly putting on an event next month celebrating the new acquisition of ZeniMax Media, and of course primarily Bethesda because that's the big name coming from this deal. 
ZeniMax acquisition is set to close in the coming days, expanding the Xbox Game Studios family to 23 development teams. Jeff Grubb, a journalist, shared the information on Games Beat Decides podcast over the weekend, saying, quote, I don't know if it will be a full, direct style event, but they will make note about it and they will talk about it extensively, explain what it means for everybody, and talk about the immediate future of both companies becoming one, end quote. Important to note here, I have not listened to the podcast, so I don't know the context of this, and I don't want to just read the article assuming that Jeff Grubb said something uh, that is factual. Of course, journalists do hear a lot uh, within the industry, and there is certainly a huge potential for this event to come, uh, but I think there is going to be something happening in mid-March as well. It just makes sense, because there's this huge elephant in the room of, will Bethesda games be exclusive? What games are going to be exclusive to Xbox if some games are going to be exclusive? What does the future hold? And I think it's very wise to have some kind of event that addresses that, that just airs the laundry and says, hey, this is what's happening. This is what you can look forward to. And primarily then, these games are coming to Game Pass today. I think that's probably what's going to happen. It makes sense that the majority of Bethesda's games would come to Game Pass because then that adds even more value to that subscription service. So that's probably something that you can look forward to. Uh, but we will see if something comes next month. But a lot of people have been talking about this potential mid-March event. Nothing is confirmed as of right now. But keep your ear to the ground and, of course, your eyes on the Jam Pack report because I'll let you know when the news drops. But I'll tell you what else dropped. Ryu and Chun-Li coming to Fortnite, because the newest crossover additions to the game are here, and this time they feature the iconic Capcom fighting series, Street Fighter. It includes two base character skins for each arcade machine back bling, Ryu's stage sign pickaxe, an e-Honda glider, a travel bag back bling, and plenty of other stuff. Uh, so if you do want to check that out, the item shop updated over the weekend at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday. And that's essentially what you got here. You see uh, Jonesy coming in, capturing the two fighters going head to head in uh, Street Fighter, and bringing them into the fray in Fortnite. So there's your Ryu skins, there is your Chun-Li skins, and then there's the uh, tons of stuff you can buy right now with your hard-earned money. So if you do want to check it out, then it's right now live in the item shop. Personally, I like the arcade machine back bling. I think that is truly uh, the biggest value here. But I also like the bearded Ryu. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this boy right here. Liking, liking the way that looks, I'd definitely sport that if I played Fortnite. Uh, so hey, dive in, check out the latest cosmetics. And to round out today's show, it's back, unfortunately. Yet another Soldier Game console is back again. After an original run of consoles brought legal threats from console creators, Soldier Boy is back with a new console from scratch with an all new design that is a direct quote, ladies and gentlemen, and it does feature all new games and all new deals. There is currently no price or release date, but it currently looks like a knockoff of an Xbox One S with a PS2 controller sitting on top, so my hopes are not very high for this console. I don't know what else to say to that. I was going to try and come up with some kind of quippy remark, uh, but this pile of trash looks like it was 3D printed. I, I don't know what's going on with this thing. I wouldn't trust these USB inputs right here for my life. I think that would probably catch on fire. Uh, but I think it's very clear this is not going to be a legitimate competitor in the console game. Uh, and of course, if you don't know what happened before, essentially Soldier Boy and the, the, the company behind this box were taking refurbished consoles, then rebranding them, and putting them out as soldier game consoles. So he was essentially, it was like if GameStop just made GameStop consoles, but they just rebranded PS4s that you're trading in to get a PS5. Whatever. Uh, if that's your prerogative, if that's what you want to do with your mid-2000s wrapping money, then by all means, hey, go for it. Uh, but personally, I'm probably not going to be picking one of those up. I'll stick with my Xbox Series X. Thank you very much. But that rounds out today's episode of the Jam Pack Report. If you enjoyed today's show, drop me a like down below and let me know what you think about everything we talked about here today. But if you are a Blizzard fan, what did you think of BlizzCon Line 2021? Would love to hear what you have to say. But until tomorrow, you guys have a fantastic rest of your Monday. I'll talk to you soon and peace.